let's talk about equivalent expressions and uh, this is something uh, stu students students struggle to understand uh, equivalent expression is a very simple idea now this is a rectangle I split this the the width okay the height is 4 and the the length is say m and n we don't know how much is m and how much is n so you got I split this rectangle into two uh, two rectangles, so this is a square and this is a, seems to be a square, I don't know. Uh, let me slightly change this so that you don't see this as a square. Okay, so this is not drawn to scale. Okay, so this is also, rect this both are rectangles. Okay, we don't know how much is M and how much is N. So we can say, let's call this, say, a, this shape, the area of this shape as A1 and this as A2. Okay. So A, A1 is the area of the first rectangle. So A1, A1 you can say is base times height, which is 4 times M, or M times 4, which is 4M. Okay, A2 is the area of the second rectangle. You can say, well, that is the base is N and the height is 4. So that is 4 times N. So that is 4N. Okay. Now, can we write this? So I can say, can I say this is 4A1 plus A2, A1 plus A2, or the area of the whole rectangle would be 4M plus 4N. Okay. Now, suppose you can, if you think about this in a different way, what is, uh, if you take this whole length, okay, if you take this whole length, from year to year, can I say the length from year to year is m plus n. This is m plus n. So, we can also say, well, uh, a1 plus a2, a1 plus a2 can also be written as your base times height or your height times base, which is 4 times, That's this is how you write in the bracket, this bracket means times 4 times m plus n. So what is that we are saying? This, if you split this into two rectangles, the area of this rectangle is 4m, the area of this rectangle is 4n. And the whole rectangle would be a1 plus a2, which is 4m plus 4n. Now if you ignore this uh, line, and if you take this as a whole rectangle, the length from year to year is, or the base is m plus n, and your height is 4. So therefore we can say, so, this is a notation for therefore, therefore we can say 4, uh, 4 m plus 4 n, 4 m plus 4 n is same as writing 4 times m plus n. Let me explain this in a number example. Okay, suppose if you have, let me take a very simple example, say 16 plus 20, 16 plus 20, whatever that number, you, we know this is 36. This is one expression of, this is adding 16 and 20. Now, can I write this as 4 times, 16 is 4 times 4. 16 is 4 times 4, plus, how will you write 20 as a 4? Well, four, 20 is 4 times 5. Okay, so 4 times 4, plus 4 times 5, you can factor out this 4. This is called a common factor. If you can, if you factor out this common 4, a common factor which is 4, you can write inside the bracket what is not common, which is 4 plus 5. Okay? And which is nothing but 4 times 9. Can you understand that 6, these are two equivalent expressions, that 16 plus 20, which we know is 36, is same as 4 times 9. So this is an equivalent expression in number or arithmetic. Okay, so you can factor out this 4. So let me give you one more example so that this is what basically we do in algebra. Say, let us say 24 plus 18. So 24 I can write, I can see the common factor of 24 and 18 is 3, so I'm going to write 24 as 3 times 
uh, three times. Uh, what is the common factor? Okay, four. Uh, okay, so let's write the factors of 24. Okay, so let's go back to numbers. Oh, basic uh, number fact. The factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 6, uh, 8, and 24. So, yes, I was not right in when saying 3 is the highest common factor. 3 is a common factor, but not the highest common factor. So, the factors of 18 are 1, uh, Oh, I've missed out one more number, so 8, then what comes? So this is, you've got 12 more, and 24. Hopefully I've not missed any. And so factors of 18, so these are the factors, uh, let me write this, factors of 24. These are the factors of 24, and these are the factors of 18. The factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3. If 2 and 3 are factors, 6 would be a factor. Okay, 2, 3, 6, then you got 9 and 18. So the highest common factor, I want you to write in the highest common factor, that is 6. This is also called GHCF. I was teaching my daughter HCF or in some books they call it GCF, greatest common factor or GCF or the highest common factor. Both are one and the same. So this I'm going to write this is same as 24 is 6 times 4, okay, and 18 is 6 times 3. So can you take out the common factors? If you take out the common factors, that is same as 6 times 4 plus 3, which is 6 times 7. And this is what I'm saying, equivalent fraction, so 16 plus 20, 16, sorry, uh, 24 plus 18. I mean, 24 plus 18 is 42. Okay, is same as saying 6 times 7. Okay, so these are called equivalent fractions. Okay, so let's look at this. Now, if you look at this top rectangle, this is base times height, which is 3a. Okay, and for the bottom rectangle, 3 times 2 is 6. So you can say, and if you look at this whole, this is the height from year to year is a plus 2. This is a plus 2. So we can say, find the area of this in two different ways. So we can say that is 3a plus 6 is one way of writing. is same as saying 3 times a plus 2. So let me explain this in a different way. So 3a plus 6 in figure, can you see 3, this is the area of the top rectangle, 3a, and this is the area of the bottom rectangle, which is 3 times. Uh, the base is 2, so the base is 3 and the height is 2. So 3a plus 6 is the same as writing 3 times a plus 2. Or, as I explained in numbers, can you write this like 3 times a plus 3 times 2? 6 can... 6 can I write 3 times 2, and 3 I can write as 3 times a. So you can take the common factor out, which is 3, and then you can write inside the bracket a plus 2. So this is called writing in equivalent fractions. So I would like you to do this yourself, and I'll come back in 5 seconds after you have done it. Okay, hopefully you've done it. So the top rectangle is 4 times 3a. So let me write like this. This is 4 times 3a, which is nothing but 12a. This is 12a. And the bottom rectangle is base times height. Your height here is 2. Okay, and the base is 4. So here the height is, so the area is 8. So the area would be, in this case, will be 12a plus 4. 12a plus 8, sorry, 12a plus 8. Or if you think in a different way, the height from year to year is 3a plus 2. 3a plus 2 is the height from the whole rectangle. So you can write the same thing as 4 times, bracket means times, 3a plus 2. 
so we can say 12a plus 8 12a plus 8 is same as writing 4 times 3a plus 2 let's write this in a different way without the if you don't have this diagram how would you do this so let me do it here so 12a plus 8 what is the common factor here 12a plus 8 is same as 4 times 3a plus 4 times 2 so you can factor out the 4 a's or 4 sorry you can factor out the 4 so you have 3a plus 2 